Welcome. So lonely. Moral Misanthrope Holiday Extravaganza. That's right. It's a holiday video. It's going to be super magnificent. Yeah, so I did this last year, right? I, I did a, a holiday spectacular. And, uh, you know, I put a lot of time and work into that video. And I think from the time I uploaded that until now, I think it has 50 two views 52 With that being said you know well, I'm, 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 don't get me wrong I'm grateful that even 52 people saw that hot pile of trash but it was my hot pile of trash that I made to share with the world and because it's trash and because I'm all about recycling I'm going to recycle most of that video right into this one that's exactly what I'm gonna do because most of you have not seen it so being that you haven't seen it you know and this is a holiday video I'm gonna cut some of that out some of that one and I'm gonna add some new stuff in and just make it one big holiday experience for everyone happy holidays bitches I'm Baron Marquis de Dior and I'm not wearing any pants I was in the last holiday extravaganza, so I'm excited to see my own goddamn face again because it's handsome as all fuck. Grab some holiday popcorn and prepare for the trash! Trash. Trash! Trash. Depressing time of the year. It's the most miserable time of the year. It's Damien, what the fuck are you doing? You're being weird again. This video is really confusing and kind of morbid. This is supposed to be a holiday spectacular. Hail Satan. Hey! Hey! Ho 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 and shit. Trash. So anyway, like I was saying, there I was, right in the middle of all of this chaos. She just stopped. So like, you know, I, I put the toaster down and I start backing up. Kidnapped by fucking elves! Ah! <laughs> yeah, you like that. 
That is so fucking hot. I'm gonna put so many cough drops up your butt. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm recording. Yeah, you can let the candy sprinkles out of my butthole. Oh shit, I'm recording. So uh, you know how when you when you wake up and it's Christmas morning and you're suddenly overwhelmed with existential dread and sadness? First of us bitches. Damien sucks. Why am I like this? Trash. Knock knock. Who's there? Santa. Let me guess. Claus, right? Oh, you've heard this one before? Jesus Christ. No, no, no. Jesus. Greetings, good people of the interweb. It is I, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I know that Satan and I may not necessarily get along or see eye to eye. But there is one thing we can certainly agree upon. Damien Blackheart is a really great guy. And The Moral Misanthrope is one of the best channels on YouTube. So, accept him into your heart and subscribe. Blessed be. Jesus. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I've got the absolute best knock-knock joke you're ever going to hear. You have to start. Okay, knock-knock. Who's there? Fuck off. Come back. So today, hey, Abby, I finished doing your laundry. I wasn't sure if you saved the dryer lint or not, so I put it in a small glass, mixed some mustard with it, and put it in the freezer. First off, please stop calling me daddy. Why on earth would you mix mustard with dry lint and put it in the freezer? <laughs> Damien, it's 2019 and this video still does not make sense and is still mildly unsettling. Are you incapable of making some kind of cohesive and fun holiday video? You're scaring people, and that's supposed to be for me to do. Old hot fart in the darkness, let us shit upon thine faces before the Lord of Life. And joining me today, we have none other than the Mother of Dragons herself, Daenerys Stormborn of the House of Targaryen. You know, I'm not quite sure that I'm comfortable with how this microphone smells. This video is not sponsored by Vralar. The ups and downs of frequent mood swings can plunge you into deep depressive lows. Take you to uncontrollable highs. Or make you feel both at once. Overwhelmed by bipolar 1 symptoms? Ask about Vralar. Some medications only treat the lows or the highs. Vralar effectively treats depression, acute manic, and mixed episodes of bipolar 1. Full spectrum relief of all symptoms with just one pill once a day. Elderly patients with dementia-related psychosis have an increased risk of death or stroke. Call your doctor about unusual changes in behavior or suicidal thoughts. Antidepressants can increase these in children and young adults. Report fever, stiff muscles, or confusion, which may mean a life-threatening reaction. Or uncontrollable muscle movements may be permanent. Side effects may not appear for several weeks. Metabolic changes may occur. Movement dysfunction, restlessness, sleepiness, stomach issues are common side effects. When Bipolar 1 overwhelms, Fralar helps smooth the ups and downs. Seriously, the sponsor me very hard. So yeah, it's fun holiday story time. So, you know, I've, I've recently uh, become gainfully employed again. Now, the funny thing is, 
there was a job, my former job, the one that I, I spoke about in my September video and plenty of other videos, um, I was going to go back to that job. You know, I, I felt like I had become stabilized. You know, I, I started on Vralar. You know, as, as soon as I left that job, I left that job because of severe mixed episodes I was having and I was suicidal and I, I needed to get stabilized. And uh, I feel like Vralar actually helped that. And, you know, I, I finally, after a few months, I felt like, you know, and there was also the surgery, of course, the fucking hernia surgery. But, you know, I finally got to a place where I was ready to return to work. And, you know, I, I wasn't even sure if this was a possibility anymore. There was, so there was a bunch of weird circumstances, a bunch of shit happened. But what it boils down to is I needed a letter from my psychiatrist stating that I was mentally well to work. So, yeah, I tried to acquire said letter and uh, she could not provide me that letter without an appointment. Like I had to have an appointment, you know, and my next appointment wasn't scheduled for almost another month. So, you know, I'm like in this weird limbo, like I can't work without this letter and I can't get this letter for another month. So I'm like, well, I got to find another fucking job. So, you know, I reached out to someone I knew who was in a position to get me a job and uh, she made that happen for me. Let me tell you that this job, in four days, I experienced more terrifying anxiety than I did at the previous job in five years. That is how intense this shit was. I, I brought it on myself. I, I overestimated myself. I, I had way too much confidence in my own abilities. <laughs> But, you know, it, I I was supposed to be operating some machinery that, you know, I thought that I knew, you know, I thought it was kind of like a un universal type thing. It's not. It wasn't. I was used to one particular kind of this machinery and the kind they had at this other place was not the same at all. So it. Uh, let's just say I couldn't do the job. But anyway, so my fourth day, I'm like freaking out. You know, I even go to HR. I'm like, is there anything else I, I can do in this company? Anything else? Like, I don't want to do this. Like, I can't handle this. Please, <laughs> you know, just anything. But, you know, I already knew before I even went into the HR office to say that. I knew I just, I really wanted to be back at this other job. Now, fortunately, what I did the day before that was actually my, when my next psychiatrist appointment had happened. Like they didn't, they, they didn't start me. You know, when when I said I needed an, I needed to find another job. You know, because it was going to be a month before I saw my psychiatrist. So I found the other job, but didn't end up starting for almost three weeks. Yeah, yeah. Because I did, had had to do all these tests and, you know, I just... Anyway, so, you know, they, they didn't start me for almost three weeks. So I, I get the letter, you know, my second or third day into the new job. And I'm just, I'm looking at it. And I'm like, I wonder if they'll still take me back. I wonder... Uh, so I started texting them and I'm like, are you interested in having me back? Because I'm interested in coming back. I was like, I've got a letter from my psychiatrist. I took a picture of it. I texted it. I'm like, I'm good to go. I was like, you know, my recovery time from a hernia surgery. I was like, I'm cleared. I'm good to go. I'm at full capacity. Let's rock. I can start tomorrow. And, uh, you know, we texted for a little while. And then, you know, I got off work. And I'm in the car. And they call. And I'm talking to them on the phone in the car. And I'm like yes 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 let's do this okay so they're like all right will you start be here at eight o'clock tomorrow morning and i was like yes i will be there with bells and fucking whistles but so the next morning i get up and i'm like oh 
I should probably let my other job know that I don't work there anymore. So I called and I left a voicemail. And I've still, I this is very unprofessional. I do not encourage anyone to behave like this or to handle their responsibilities like this. This is, this was childish and unprofessional. And I feel bad about it despite how funny it is. So I called up and I'm like, I tell them who I am. And I'm like, yeah, due to circumstances, I will never be able to turn, return to work again. <laughs> and I was like, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I hope I'm not getting sick. That would suck. But yeah, so this is this has been my, my holiday experience. And there was... There's a point to me telling that story. Oh, I'm back at work. I'm working again. So my schedule is going to be like all kinds of fucked up. <laughs> because it's like the busiest time of the year. And we've got like all kinds of crazy shit going on. Inventory is about to start. So I'm going to be working really long days and some weekends. So my upload schedule is going to take a massive hit. It is going to suffer. And... um I can't promise when I'm going to get videos up, but I'm, when I, I am capable, when I have the time, and when I am like in the zone and I can do it, I will have videos up. I can promise you that. It, they just might be a little more sporadic than they've been lately, because um, it's just I, I'm I'm going to be busy, and it, it sucks. I wish I could be busy just making YouTube videos, but. You know, that is not that is not in the cards for me at this moment. You know, as the channel grows, who knows? I didn't mean to rhyme that, but I did. So there's that. Yeah. So I, I hope everyone will stick with me, you know, and, and don't don't jump ship just because, you know, I'm not putting out a new video every like couple of days. You know, it might go back to the way it was when I first started doing reactions when I put like two, three days worth of time into one video, you know, I, I may only get up one video a week, but it'll be a banger, you know. Um, that's kind of, you know, what I'm, I'm hoping will maybe happen with this new situation because that's that's what got me to where I am, and I kind of like to go back to that. Uh, but we'll we'll see what happens. We'll we'll just play it by ear and. Uh, you know, I, I just want to thank everyone who has supported me and still supports me and has gotten me to the point where I'm at today. I mean, it's not like I'm, you know, anywhere big time or anything, but, you know, where I'm at now, I never really saw myself getting to where I am as quickly as I have. I, I did not foresee that happening, and I'm very grateful for that, and uh, I just hope I can keep giving back and uh, just thanks again, you know. Subscribe if you're new here because, like, I do stuff. <laughs> <laughs>